ask me for anything. If there's something you want, I can get it for you. Although, I would prefer it if your request was something of a sexier nature. <laughs> I'm looking into your eyes from such a close distance and you think nothing of it. Oh well. I wasn't expecting this to work on you after all this time anyway. Let's go. Does the movie sound fine? Hey, what happened to that request to make it up for you thing? I, I didn't say anything. We're, we're on a date. We're on a date with Iki. Nobody's watching anymore. I love the music. It's nice music. I'm finally able to look at your face normally. What does that mean? Was he wearing the sunglasses? Because, like, people watching wouldn't stop him from looking at us, right? I'm worried that you think I have ulterior motives taking you to dark places like this all the time. Oh, because people can't see his eyes. Right, yes, okay. It's been difficult doing anything where it's light out. He's, I don't know, there's something about his dialogue. It just feels stilted. Maybe he's supposed to sound really formal. But I feel like that doesn't vibe with his, like, cool look. I'm probably overthinking this. <laughs> I just don't want anybody seeing my face. I'm sorry, I know that my condition is always setting restrictions for us. Condition? Let's just relax and watch the movie. Then why did you, <laughs> like, have to say all this to me? We could have been watching the movie this whole time, and it's just like, hey listen, let's rehash all the stuff that I've already told you before, supposedly, in-universe. <laughs> I know it's a ridiculous condition, but it's also a nice excuse to be able to spend time with you like this. What, in the dark? Because cause even without the condition we'd be able to spend time together just be not in the dark what kind of condition would cause girls to gather around you when you take off your sunglasses that pretty much is the condition <laughs> but it seems like you already knew about this condition so it would be suspicious if you asked i'll try to get more details later on for now let's just watch the movie <laughs> two times where it's like let's just watch the movie and then you just like keep talking <laughs> It's, it feels like weird that they even like had that conversation in the movie instead of like I don't know on the way there being like I'll take you to see a movie I know it's another dark place but you know my condition and then whatever I don't know why like why would we wait until we were sitting in the movie theater and the movie was like starting to then have this conversation it just seems weird if we don't get home soon, it might be hard to get up for work tomorrow. Wait, already? We've hardly been able to ask anything. Oh yeah, we went to the movie. Did he say work? There's work tomorrow? For who? Him? You? Who? What's with that look? You want to spend more time together? I don't know. What's our look? Panic? <laughs> Orion's panicking. Are we panicking? Does he see us look panicked? And be like, oh, you, you want to spend more time with me? I doubt it. I don't expect to hear you say something so upfront and honest. I beg your pardon? <laughs> is he saying we're dishonest? I thought he was gonna say like he didn't expect something so affectionate, but that would he doesn't expect us to be honest. Oh right, did you think of something you wanted from me for being late earlier? You can't just say something like, tell me about our relationship. For now the biggest bone on our plate is this work stuff. You should probably ask about that. Well, just ask me anything. Ask, what? Now we're asking for information. It was supposed to be like a favor. Could you walk me to work tomorrow? Yes. This one makes more sense. Walk you? In the morning? I don't mind doing that. Both of us have a shift tomorrow anyway. Cool. So we both have work at the same place. The way he said it, it sounds like you work at the same place. Yeah, it does, Orion. <laughs> but you really have been acting strange today. Make sure you get some rest when you get home. Let's go. I'll hold your bag. Good work, you managed to get through it. Anyway, it looks like he's going with you to work tomorrow, so maybe you can depend on him a bit. Seems like a playboy, but he's not as bad as I thought. And he was actually really nice to you. Was he? I mean, like, he wasn't, like, mean to us, but was he really nice? I don't know, we just, like, went to a movie uneventfully. Although he might have ulterior motives. I don't know. I, I think they're pretty... <laughs> terrier. <laughs> they're pretty... Like, he was pretty explicit about just, like, wanting to bang us, right? Like, it was kind of just up front. <laughs> He's just considerate of you, though. He might end up being a good person to talk to. Yeah, I guess he was, like, concerned about us. I thought he was a celebrity or something, but it seems like he's just a normal guy working at a job alongside a college girl. Oh, you have a message from him. 
received a new message. Sorry for being late today. You weren't late, though. You were outside our apartment for hours. I'll visit again when I have time. Good night. Okay. Text you right after a date, huh? Maybe devotion is just part of being a popular guy. So how will you reply? I'm going to save. That's what I'm going to do. Um, these are both weird. Both of these strike me as weird. Let me check my parameters. What am I doing? Okay. Yes, I'll see you again is like incredibly stilted. Why would you say this? It's robotic. And then thank you for today is both very formal and also like, like he apologized and like he should because like he made us wait for a really long time. Like he took us on a date, but like, I don't know. It's just doesn't sit right with me. Yes, I'll see you again. All right, that should be fine. Hey, an email. It's from an address you don't have recorded in your contacts list. That's weird. Where's today's daily report? That can't be good. Daily report? Could it be a daily report for work? Maybe you forgot to write it yesterday. Well, you can always do something like that tomorrow. Just sleep for today. You're tired. Yeah, if you keep this up, you'll be able to find someone you can trust and your memories will come back to. But you've only just started. Do your best at work tomorrow. Okay, so we have work tomorrow. Ba -ba -ba. I'm like not that into Iki. Even though he's pretty. Like he has pretty eyes. I also like, I feel like I don't quite have the attention span for this game right now. Oh. Please answer the phone. You finally woke up good. The guy he's calling answered. He's probably here to pick you up. There we go. Ooh. I was saying, <laughs> I don't think I really have the attention span for this right now, but I also think that probably most people don't wait until they're in like the perfect mood to play a particular game, and that's probably why other people finish video games and I don't. <laughs> Let's go. It's fine. It's fine. Good morning, I take it? I'm already at your apartment. Are you ready to come outside? Uh, no. <laughs> I just woke up. Uh, sorry, I'll get ready. Why would I invite him in while I'm getting ready? Should I give you a surprise morning call sometime? Yeah, do it. Huh? You're being pretty honest. Why does he... I don't, it seems like Iki thinks that being attracted to him is being honest. <laughs> like, those are the same thing in all circumstances. Like, if we said no, that we would be lying. <laughs> I don't understand. Alright, then I'll give you a call on a day you least expect it. You can look forward to that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he, he. <laughs> Maybe he's not as weird as I'm reading him. Uh, good morning. Looks like you slept in. But a lot happened yesterday and you were tired. You can't help that. Yeah, I visited the spirit world, a spirit in my consciousness now. He's waiting out there, so you should hurry up and get ready. Mm, he's not surrounded by girls today, because he's wearing his sunglasses. He said people gather around him if he takes his sunglasses off, but wearing suspicious sunglasses like that would definitely stand out more. What kind of special power could he have? Hopefully you'll be able to ask him about stuff like that. But that's not the issue now. The issue right now is figuring out what you called Iki up until now. Is it? Like, we don't have to greet him by name, right? We can just be like, Good morning. <laughs> I almost never call people by their names in real life. In fact, I'll pretty much avoid saying people's names until I know them really well and am really comfortable around them because I have an irrational fear of saying people's names wrong or calling them by the wrong name. Particularly that one. Like, just getting their name wrong. Uh, anyway. <laughs> How was he labeled in my phone? Hey, Ixter! <laughs> um, I'll probably go with the... Middle one. Good morning, Iki. Should I save? No. I said we were gonna roll with the answers this time, right? That's the idea. We're just, just going. <laughs> By the way, the, should I save? It means like, should I save scumness if I don't get it right? <laughs> It'd be great if there was a bell that rang when you got the right answer. Don't you agree? I do agree. Yeah, that'd be great. Would you normally have slept for a while longer? Or are you still not feeling well? You aren't, let me know. 
Anyway, I'll carry your bag. Let's talk on the way there. That's a weird thing to say, right? Like, let's talk on the way there, or whatever he said. We can talk on the way there. Let's talk. He said let's talk, right? Wouldn't you just do that? Oh, you probably haven't eaten breakfast. Are you alright? You've got a shift until evening today, too. I've never been one to eat very much, so I'm perfectly fine skipping a meal. What about you, Haruka? Do you usually eat breakfast? I don't know. Uh, is that way you'd know how you've been eating up until now? Well, no use overthinking it. You can answer however you like. Um, Haruka... I think for the for the vibes that she gives off, probably toast or something light. Extremely, like, I don't know, waifish anime girl, you know? I like this one. Is I try to eat three proper meals a day of, like, very uh, responsible type, you know? But I, I just, I feel like this is Haruka. Me personally, I love breakfast. It is my favorite meal. But, like, I eat toast because I like toast. You know what I mean? Toast is good, and bagels are good. I'm doing great today. Really, really staying on task, you know? Whatever. She eats toast. Yeah, I get that. I don't get very hungry in the morning either. And I do eat it some kind of bread. Nice. I like bread. Sounds like our lifestyles are pretty similar <laughs> because of... Because we both eat a light breakfast. <laughs> we have so much in common. Whoa, looks like the train's- why is this a whoa? I'd normally just dash on through, but I'm escorting you today. I don't want to risk it. It's- sh Should I read him as cheesy? Like, I feel like all the stuff that he says is, like, humble bragging? <laughs> is he a pickup artist? Is that how I should read this? I'd normally just dash on through, but I'm escorting you today. I don't want to risk it. Because you're- you're precious. It's dangerous. Stand back a bit. Like he's being, like, chivalrous, I guess? You know, Iki's... When you're alone together, he actually seems like a really nice guy. Yeah, because he's playing it up so much. Like, he does all this stuff that's super normal, but then he's like, for your benefit. <laughs> See, I would normally do this incredibly dangerous thing for no reason. But since you're here, we'll be safe. <laughs> Uh, then again, a certain senior of mine who knows a lot about humans told me that playboys tend to act really nice. Okay, so yeah. Pick up artist vibes. The big important problem today is how you got by at work before you lost your memories. Yeah. I'm like way more concerned about that. This might be really tough. You might even think it's impossible, but it's alright. It's not like you'll die if you fail at work. Hopefully. If worst comes to worst, you can say you aren't feeling well and just go home. Orion talks a lot. I feel like he talks more in this playthrough than he usually does. In this this route, I mean. I wonder if you're expected to play this one first. Like, obviously you can play any of them, but I wonder if there's an expectation that you'll be drawn to this guy. It would help if the shades that he wears weren't so ugly. Like, I hate these. They don't look good. I don't think I like his striped shirt either. It's hard to tell though. There's just so much going on. Good morning. Shin! Meanwhile, Shin is so cute. Over here looking like this. You're accompanying your girlfriend today? That's unusual. Yeah, it really is unusual. I can't get a read on how he talks. Yeah, it really is. It's like it's so casual. I don't know. Did I even finish reading that line? <laughs> huh, that really is strange. They talk the same! So that's why you're in such a good mood? Hmm? Do I look like I'm in a good mood? Yes, you do. You're smiling. <laughs> huh. I didn't realize. Maybe I'm even happier than I thought? What is this conversation? Yeah, enough bragging. I can tell by that weird look on your face. What, the, s the smile? I'm not bragging, I'm just expressing an honest thought. What are you talking about? You've got a huge grin. I am not following this conversation well. I feel like the things they're saying to each other do not follow with the previous thing. You shouldn't tease your senior, Shin. I'm going to go get changed. I wonder what kind of relation he has to you. You need to be really careful not to mess up your responses with him either. 
I think he's still our childhood friend or whatever. What are you doing? You need to get changed too. We talked to you. All right, are you gonna be casual or respectful? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'll try to hurry. Seems like he's like our boss or something. I'll say, yeah, I will. Even though this seems more flippant than Haruka would ever be, because it almost sounds like rude. I, th I feel like a middle ground of like, yes, I will, or right, I will, would, would suit her more. Yeah, I will. You know, it's true that you're older than me, but I'm your senior here. And since we don't have a personal relationship outside of work, maybe you should be more respectful, like usual. Oh, okay. So we don't know, but we we knew him in childhood, right? Am I crazy? I guess we're not friends in this universe. How am I supposed to keep track? Every universe is different. And like, I don't know, like, he was, you know, not, like, very friendly towards us, but I feel like that's just his personality. <laughs> like, he would do that anyway. Sorry. You're always respectful. He looks like he's the same age or younger. I thought being casual was the right response. Yeah, me too. 